Well, uh, I'm not familiar with it, but it is so reminiscent of so many plans back then, which were kind of a, um, you know, uh, uh, clear and build kind of idea. And this idea that you needed to create a blank canvas on which to write. But instead, the way development occurs and the way it happened in the Central West End is by carefully weaving the urban fabric back together, keeping the grid. The grid is the cross streets which uh, is actually a universal principle of successful cities because we have, if you have frequent corners, that's traffic calming. That's going to slow down the traffic, right? It gives you more choices on where to go. It creates more pedestrian opportunities on corners when you're a kitty corner. Think about the corner of Euclid, you know, and, and uh, um, uh, what would be the best street there, cross street, you know, where you have all, the, all these uh, cafes and, and coffee shops and bookstores and other things. But maybe so, so this, the historic flavor yeah, of it. That's right. You can't, you know, you can't build cities by, uh, great cities are not built by uh, bulldozing, uh, by that kind of urban renewal approach. They're built from the ground up, weaving it together. It doesn't mean that there couldn't be, in some cases, you know, you create contiguous parcels of land and do something, but you better do it in a way that, that weaves itself into the fabric of that area, uh, rather than plunks down a, a, however brilliantly conceived and how brilliantly designed, uh, a new city, right? And so if you look at European cities and you look at the great European cities and how they do that, it's painstaking, right? It's, it's weaving in the functions in such a way that it works. One of the comment I'm going to make quickly in terms of your question, you know, what does this mean? Uh, you know, what it means is uh, neighborhoods in the older parts of the region uh, cannot compete with the suburbs on the suburban principle. If you try to compete on the suburban principle, you lose because the suburbs are better at auto-centered development, large lot housing, um, that sort of lifestyle. You have to compete on urban principles, which are walkability, mixed use, a sense of place, all these kinds of qualities. And so we've made errors in St. Louis where we've torn down large parts of the city uh, and you know, tried to build you know, massive, massive structures. Instead, where we've succeeded is where uh, we've worked with people in the community and built on the existing fabric. And you, know, you have this kind of, um, you, know, you kind of have this urban ballet that occurs in the Central West End where at different hours of the day, people use the neighborhood for different purposes. They go to work, they go there uh, to eat, they go there to see a film, they go there for different purposes. And that kind of balances itself over time. And if you have people on the street, the great way to create safety uh, is to have eyes on the street. Just have more people there all the time and then you, then you feel safe. If you're in a city and you walk around and you look around and there's no one around, that's when it's dangerous. When there are other people around, it's going to be safe.